Hello guys, JT Blackhawk here with Not Enough Knives. But I'm happy to be back with you guys. Today we're reviewing, real quick, the Kershaw OD-2 model 1770X. Very small knife, as you can see. Pretty streamlined looking, very sleek. I believe this is the successor to the OD-1. The OD-1 was a larger frame lock stainless back. I don't have one here to display for you, but it's very similar to this Kershaw scamp I have here. It was G10 on one end, and then it was stainless on the other end. While the OD-2 doesn't share the same features, it does have some cool things uh, such as uh, its size. It's very great for like extreme pocket EDC. Blade length is two and a quarter inches. Closed, it's a whopping three and one eighth of an inch. And here it goes, the weight, 1.4 ounces. Awesome. That's something that a lot of people are gonna like. Blade deploys very quickly. It's not automatic, but the mechanical function of it, as you can see, almost deploys it entirely without having to add any kinetic swing to the opening. So uh, let's try this one more time. Boom, that's it, that's all it is. It's a mechanical system. Pretty good locking liner. Handles are made of glass filled nylon. I don't think they are G10 such as other models. It's a one hand flipper, which is manual. Once you open it up, it deploys pretty easily, smoothly. You shouldn't have any problems. You just had to have a little pop. It'll have some tension right away when you try to open it, but it'll have a little bit of pop right away. And then uh, it'll take some practice, but you can deploy this knife without having to swing the wrist because of the way that this recessed flipper is just designed. It's a pretty cool design by Kershaw. Those engineers got it right with this one. I believe its older brother has the same uh, technology. So this flipper, as you can see, goes into the handle as the blade comes out. It's pretty cool being able to see that mechanism there. What's cool about it is that it helps the knife look completely streamlined when it's deployed. I listed several categories to rate the blades. So what I gave this one as far as tactical use, because of the lack of extra grips and no jimping on the back, it does have a little bit of toil jimping. Nonetheless, the size wouldn't put it in that category anyway. So for tactical, we're gonna go with just one star. Hunting use and camping use, this knife will get you out of a pinch if you needed to skin something or, you know, cut a few tie wraps while you're pitching a tent or whatever, but I don't think it would be very useful under hard use in these circumstances. This knife is what's gonna be a five-star EDC blade, mainly because of the size. It's a great value given its size if you're just gonna carry it every day as a backup EDC blade, and then you have your other primary, or as your sole EDC blade because of size restrictions in your state or because a uh, workplace environment or school or whatever have you requires this size of a blade. So it's great for that, especially with that 1.4 ounce weight. Utility use, yeah. I'd say as a backup blade that you carry every day, this knife could probably do a good utility role. Food prep and mechanical use, I wouldn't use this knife for that. Not At least not for its main role. It, like I said, it's a great backup and any knife is really a great backup. I wouldn't use it as its main role. The traction, like I said before, subpar. I mean, it's glass filled nylon. It's not as uh, tactile as G10 in my opinion but the way that the, that the inlays are made here on the scales are pretty good. Ergonomics, I mean, for my medium large hands, I can get three fingers comfortably on it and the pinky wants to come off. So that's not a problem because under these two categories, you won't be doing any hardcore cutting or choking up on the blade, but it will do it in a pinch if you need it to. Deployment, like I said, it's a different kind of deployment. It's not fully mechanical and it's not automatic at all. You just have to apply some pop to that flipper, it'll recess and it'll deploy the blade. Build carding and construction, of course, it's Kershaw. So regardless of be being made in the overseas or not, it's a quality knife. I'm gonna rate this pretty high in these areas. Price point, $19 or less. Value, excellent value for $19 or less. This is a very light, strong EDC blade. You can carry it to a lot of places, regardless of restrictions. Affordability, I mean, I think it's in everybody's budget. Hope you guys found this useful. It's my first official review with an actual uh, review points, as I like to call them. If you have any questions, I may not have covered all specifics, but uh, I just want to get these out as fast as I can for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just lay them on me and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, guys, take it easy. JT here. Bye.